Hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about quite a few things that have been popping up online recently towards a Valentine's DLC update. One of the main things is the fact that Rockstar Games have actually come out with an official statement stating that all of the Valentine's DLC masks, and for those of you who don't know, uh, the masks were in fact removed when the Festive Surprise DLC was actually introduced to the game. They are in fact going to be making a return to GTA 5 Online, uh, which is some awesome news. So I'm going to be covering all of that in today's video, as well as going over a few images that have been circulating online that point towards a Valentine's update supposedly coming on February the 14th. So as always, hope you guys do go on to enjoy today's video or do find the info helpful and jumping straight into today's main topic. Of course, this being uh, the fact that Rockstar Games have put out a statement about the recently removed Valentine's masks uh, that will be making a return. So once again, for those of you who don't know, Valentine's masks were in fact removed from players' inventory. So for anyone out there who owned one of the Valentine's masks, they are no longer there anymore until they actually get brought back into the game. And of course, because of this, a lot of you guys out there have actually been reporting this to the Rockstar support forums and they have actually responded uh, which is going to be on your guys' screens now and it states this issue has now been resolved as a part of the fix all Valentine's Day Massacre masks have been temporarily removed from players inventories after the GTA Online Festive Surprise period concludes any players who had one of these masks removed will be gifted all masks from the Valentine's DLC Massacre please stay tuned to this page for more updates and there's also been other news as well of uh, apparently some people's Albany Roosevelt which is one of the Valentine's DLC cars have also been going missing as well and they will also be making a return uh, for those of you guys who have also been affected uh, by that situation as well. So there seems to be quite a lot of bugs going on in the game right now ever since the Festive Surprise DLC actually got updated to the game. People who purchase the masks I believe some users are also experiencing the interaction menu bug and this is because of the festive surprise masks so that is also going to be fixed here very shortly when the masks do actually get removed from the game and when the festive surprise DLC actually concludes which is pretty awesome news as well there and for those of you who were affected uh, by this issue so moving into the final part of the video today which is also coming covering some more images that have also been exploding online recently I've been getting several tweets from you guys about this uh, it's been all over GTA forums all over Reddit about a supposed Valentine's DLC coming on February February the 14th. Now, I'm not one to question the legitimacy of these images. Some people are calling this fake, uh, some people are calling this real, but I'm going to read it out to you guys today and kind of give you guys my opinion as well go over the topic with you guys in general. So, as you can see, it does state there at the top the issue has not been resolved, and as a part of the fix, all Valentine's Day masks have been temporarily removed from players. This is practically the same paragraph uh, that was on the question and answer area of the Rockstar Support forums. And once again, this image was also taken from the tier section of Rockstar Support as well, or supposedly taken from the tier section. And as you can see underneath there, does state the good news is you will only have to wait around 40 days for the DLC to come around again and you too can purchase the mask clothes vehicles and weapons we apologize for the inconveniences caused hope you got your answer please feel free to revert if you are still having any issues best regards Rachel S from Rockstar support now in my honest opinion this image has to have been faked it hasn't been announced on the news why it hasn't been announced anywhere else that a Valentine's update is 100% confirmed although I do believe and I guess it's kind of to be expected as well that a Valentine's update Day will in fact be around on February the 14th anyway. It happened last year, so I guess it's kind of to be expected that it will happen again this year. But this image has been called fake by a lot of people. Um, in my opinion, it's definitely fake as well. But then again, a lot of you guys out there are tweeting me this saying, Oh my god, a Valentine's update has been confirmed by Rockstar from their support tier page. So um, I want to kind of bring it to guys' attention today, let you guys know that this image has in fact been faked, and there's been quite a lot of grammatical errors within this as well that kind of points towards that fact as well. And um, you know, once again, the Valentine's update is to be expected anyway so still look out for a valentine's update just don't get your hopes up by this image you know that has been circulating around recently so with that being said that is pretty much concludes what i wanted to talk about today i wanted to bring that image to you guys attention let you guys know that if you do see it don't get excited by it rocks i haven't confirmed anything yet uh, but i guess it's still to be expected that a valentine's update is in fact in the works but with that being said once again hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like down below and i'll catch you all later with a brand new video